Hey, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's D. About to react to this video by Sweater God. This is Rapper's Top 10 Savage Moments. Yes, I want to see this. I want to see them be savage and extra, you know? So we're about to see. Let's watch. Oh, have you seen this picture? What are your thoughts on it? I want to meet her and understand why what happened. That's cool though. Like I, I feel you a hundred percent. No, I that don't. To me, you. is like absolutely incredible. I don't know if you can see it, but this girl tattooed Drake on her forehead. The guy who tatted it is a fucking asshole, though. I will tell you that. I don't fuck with that guy. Fuck you to that tat artist, by the way, because you're an asshole for real, and you should lose your job and you should never do tattoos again. I don't fuck with you, and if I ever see, I'm gonna fuck you up. But real shit Drake though, do shit. I really, really like. I want to talk to this girl and understand it all. You know. Um, I know, yeah, no, straight up, straight up. No, it was, it was love. I mean, it's crazy. It's surreal. I don't even want to look at it anymore because it's super surreal. You know? <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, man, thank you. What so he really wanted to say is, why the fuck did you What's wrong with you? I got that one, which is also a class six Watch out, nigga. Whoa. Give me something first. See the bad treatment going on. Only one in here. I don't know who's gonna arrest us today. Every time, man. Every time. Every time. They do it to me. They gotta be quiet about it. They get my wife violated, but I gotta be quiet about it. Let's go. 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 Let's Calm down. You don't have the answers though. Calm down. Because you're trying to give me advice about no, something. No, no, you no, ain't no. you Listen. ain't got the answers. You ain't spent thirteen million dollars of your own money trying to empower right. yourself. Yep, but I spent hundreds of thousands and doing putting out clothing lines at a smaller degree. All I'm asking you, I'm and, then, and it ain't no Ralph though. It ain't Ralph level. What's the name? We don't know. What's the name of your clothing line? We don't know. Kanye, you know what I'm saying? Because I lost money, but that's not exactly. That's not, and I could lose money on a higher level too. Don't think asking. just because. Wait, hold up, wait, hold don't up, think because I got the most or the least let me, money. Let me finish my question, dog. Man, beca no, but, man. But let me
is ready to run fast. He's not playing with y'all. What's up? Should I snuff you right now? You want to go on? What's good? I don't give a fuck, nigga. What's up? Bro, I'm on your nigga, bro. What's up? Don't throw shit at my car. You don't know me, nigga. What are you, bro? Fuck out of here, nigga. I'll fuck you up, nigga. I love London. I love London. I respect, nigga. But you don't, nigga. What you mean? I got weight, nigga. See me. What weight? What the fuck is you talking about? Bro, what you mean? Do one. Man, you pussy too. Get some fit girls in your life, bro. Shut up. Tell the way fight me in the rain. And I'm gonna beat his stupid ass, and I bet everything on it. Aren't you Since inspired by Lil Chris Brown doing it? I don't even need no trainer. I don't need Floyd Mayweather, Adrian Brown. Now I want to need niggas out on it. I'm gonna beat Lil Wayne's stupid ass. Watch. <laughs> and up. whoever wins, they the best. Right by the eye. You heard? Mm. I got eight bucks in the studio right now. I'm fading. I know he looks good. Like One K. Tell Lil Wayne if he ain't scared of me. He gon' fight me. Game on ramen. My mind full of them toxins. Your love might be one of them shits, but I ain't giving up. I promise. Is that an interview that I actually gave with Katie Curry? Yeah. What's your name again? Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, that, that's not the question. What's like, his what's... name? Pete Ross. Huh? Pete Ross. Pete Ross. Yeah. Just, that's a stupid ass question. Mm -hmm. You just saw me on there giving an interview with her. Okay. I don't know, but I know I did perform at this badass bitch birthday party recently. She was crazy, stupid thick. Have I ever hired a photographer to photograph a man? Sorry, sir, no, I'm a superstar. People hire them themselves to photograph me. We don't hire them. How would you describe your image in the media? How would I describe my image in the media? Yes. I wouldn't describe it. Well, how would you describe it if you had to? I don't have to. I mean, <laughs> this guy right here may tell me that I have to wait, but personally, I don't have to do nothing. Go ahead, ask the question. Thank you, Your Honor. Do you like I know to he can't save you, right? In the real world, that guy right there, he can't save you in the real world. Just so you know. What does that mean? Mm. I don't have to elaborate. Is that your next question? Is please, that a, a threat against no, no, Miss no, Can sorry, you just not. ask your next question, please? What the fuck type of interview is this? He can't save you. And what does that mean? I was talking to myself. <laughs> he sound crazy. Oh he sound crazy as shit. Crazy as shit. And it looked, the way it was set up, it looked like he, this was like an interview, like a police interview or something. I don't know. But it clearly said TMZ. But I don't know. Something was real off about that. I wasn't fucking with it. Um, but these rappers, they let their egos consume them. They have huge, huge egos. So, you know, they be getting real testy with people, with reporters and fucking um, photographers and all that. One thing I did notice, though, because I definitely remember Kodak Black talking about how much he looked up to Lil Wayne. He loved Lil Wayne. He was his inspiration. Blah, blah, blah. And then when he got put on, he started talking shit about Lil Wayne. Because I guess they got into it. I don't know the details, so I ain't gonna speak on that. There's been so many instances where a celebrity will really like another celebrity before they got put on. Like when there were nobody... They would really look up to this celebrity and be like, wow, they're so great. I love them. Like, I listen to their music all the time or I'm, like, really inspired by them or whatever. But once they get put on and they get in the same circles as their idol, they realize that, oh, shit, you actually trash. You nothing like I thought you would be. Like, I don't like you at all. This has happened with so many people from Kodak Black to Machine Gun Kelly. He's on fucking interviews and shit talking about how much he loves Eminem. He's so great. He's his main inspiration. He ended up beefing with him. Cardi B, she said she really liked Nicki Minaj. They beefing. Fucking Tyra Banks really looked up to um, Naomi Campbell. And then she, when she met her, she was like, wow, she was terrible. Like, it's been so many cases like this. And look, look, uh, fucking Nicki Minaj and Lil' Kim. Nicki Minaj talked about how she really looked up to Lil' Kim. But then she got to know her, be in the same circle as her, and be like, damn, this bitch is shady as fuck. She throwing shade at me. Like, she's a mean girl. So it just goes to show, you don't know these celebrities. You don't know them. You don't know them from a can of paint. They could be terrible, trash-ass people that if you really got to know them, you wouldn't like them at all. 
So that's why it just doesn't make sense to me. Just worship them when you don't know them, you know? Anyway, this was a cool video, though. Let me know what y'all thought about it. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!